Chowling Yi with your Network Marketing Minute. And I just wanted to continue on with my last video where I talked about how I was blogging you know, almost every day last year and all of a sudden I was advised you know, to stop blogging and to really reflect on you know, what my fears were and, and uh, you know, what I ought to be doing as a network marketer wanting to build a business. And, you know, I, I've been at peace with the process over the last, I guess, since last summer. And uh, through parts of that, I was not actively trying to build my business. You know, I just wanted to collect myself, work on the happy home, and be at peace with the, with the job I have. You know, you can't, it, it really helps to be settled down in, in all the areas of your life. If you can achieve that, then once you start going after your business and, and being responsible for more people you feel a little you feel more liberated to do that um, and not and don't and for and when you are a team leader you are taking responsibility for the people you bring in I mean you're not responsible for them to build their business but you take you do take that responsibility seriously that when these people become part of your team, you want to give them a good start. You want to make sure that their experience in network marketing is a positive one because there are so many negative experiences. So, you know, as a team leader, you start, you know, you will think about, you know, what's my system? And, and what I discovered is that you have to, if you're out there creating your own system, you have to find out what you're comfortable with. Um, and that can take a while, or it may not. It depends who you are. You know, you may have some experience. You may be a realtor or somebody that has a lot of sales experience. But you know, sales is only a small part of network marketing. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot more of teaching, and the duplication, the keeping up the team spirit. Those are important because if you don't have a team, sorry, no no network. If you don't have a team, and it doesn't matter if you're the best salesman in the world, if you can't keep a team together you are starts with an S and ends with a D so um, anyways this is my two and a half minutes just wanted to reflect more on you know what what the process is even when you're serious about being a network marketer and you're not you know you're not out there doing your tw getting your 20 nose a day or something like that you know why is it is there anything wrong with that and, and it's a and it's an it's a mental game it's an internal game and when you're ready You'll be like the bamboo shoot, okay? You know, what's the story? of The bamboo takes about five years to grow underground before it even shoots up. But once it shoots up, it cruises. And in network marketing is a little bit like that. You know, it has something to do with the compound effect. That compound effect is also a mental thing. It's not just you out there growing a team, but it's, 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 uh, it's that uh, the compound interest and the slight edge, Jeff Olson, I think, the slight edge that you've got to give yourself in order to move forward and, that, and to develop that momentum where you're going to be helping carry, at least momentarily, other people that are joining your team. This is Challenge E with your network marketing in four minutes about, and I uh, hope this was, was helpful for you, especially if you feel like you're struggling and you, you're not sure if you're if doing nothing is the right thing or not. And, you know, you could be going through some internal development, so don't be hard on yourself and keep your chin up. So I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye.